بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وبه نستعين وصلي وسلم على نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ومن تبعهم إلى يوم الدين أما بعد Respected brothers, sisters and beloved children Inshallah I will be sharing some reflection from eight, just eight ayahs See what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Araf at number 11 وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَاكُمْ ثُمَّ صَوَّرَنَاكُمْ ثُمَّ قُلْنَا لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ اجْجُدُوا لِآدَمْ فَسَجَدُوا إِلَّا إِبْلِيسِ when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the Prophet Adam alayhi salatu wa salam, uh, soul was placed, knowledge was blessed, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to honor Prophet Adam alayhi salatu wa salam among all creation. So he instructed everyone to honor Prophet Adam alayhi salam by doing sajda to him. As soon instruction was given, order was made, all the creation went to the sajda by accepting the Prophet Adam alayhi salatu is the best creation among all in the form of insan. But other hand, uh, shaitan remained in a firm condition. He refused and reject to do a sajda and follow the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and lam yakum min as -sajideen. And he wasn't among those who have submitted their will front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's command and accepted open heart that the insan and the form of uh, Adam is the best creation among all. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked shaitan, مَا مَنَعَكَ أَن تَسْجُدَ لِمَا خَلَقْتَ that, oh shaitan, what happened to you that you refused to do a sajda to a creation which I has created? مَا مَنَعَكَ أَلَّا تَسْجُدَ إِذْ أَمَرْتُ What has stopped you not to follow my command, my order of doing a sajda? Do you know what the shaitan said? Instead of accepting, submitting, and apologizing, he start debating with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by saying, خَلَقْتَنِي مِنْ نَارِ يَا اللَّهِ I'm the better. I'm a better than insan. Why? خَلَقْتَنِي مِنْ نَارِ You have created me with the fire and the fire goes up. وَخَلَقْتَهُ مِنْ تِينَ And you have created Adam with a mud and clay and that is a worse how that will be possible the better will be surrendering to the lower shaitan was in his imagination better than al insan while allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted all the creation to understand among all creation al insan is the best creation but the shaitan was refusing and he didn't accept allah subhanahu wa ta'ala absolutely didn't like it and said فَخْرُجْ فَإِنَّكَ مِنَ السَّاقِرِ Shaitan, get out. Humiliation, destruction forever upon yourself. And other hand, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala communicating with Adam and Hawa alayhi salatu wa salam in a paradise by saying, just be careful. Just be careful. Because of refusing, rejecting my command, Shaitan has been taken out and my curse and destruction will be upon shaitan and you has been placed in a paradise so all the beauty and all the quality all the joyful moment of the jannah is for you you can eat and drink from anything you like you can go anywhere but just remember فَلَا تَقْرَبَ هَذِهِ الشَّجَرَةَ فَتَكُونَ مِنَ الظَّالِمِينَ you see that tree? yeah in the corner just remember you can enjoy from the beauty of the quality of the paradise, the way you want, from the place, from the things, whatever can give you the joy and happiness and pleasure, you're good to have it. But just remember, the tree, you see that? Make sure you both don't even go near to it. Why? Because that was the test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They were living their beautiful life, eating, drinking, and enjoying the moment, beautiful moment of the paradise. But the shaitan wanted to take a revenge because shaitan faced the curse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of denying of the sajda, which was ordered to do a sajda to Prophet Adam alayhi salatu wasalam. So he was looking for the chance. So what happened? فَوَسْوَسَ لَهُمَ الشَّيْطَانِ Shaitan 
place the waswasa, the waham, the thoughts and thinking in the heart of Prophet Adam and Hawa. In the beginning they were refusing, rejecting all the signal was coming from the shaitan. Because the shaitan was outside the paradise and Prophet Adam and Hawa, they are inside the paradise. How that will be possible? The shaitan is communicating. So shaitan used the Wi-Fi signal. He was sending a message, a thought and waswasa in the hearts of Prophet Adam and Hawa through the Wi-Fi signal. That will be the best uh, terminology to explain the situation. In the beginning, both of them was refusing, rejecting and completely denying. But the shaitan plan, a uh, greater plan in a way that uh, he sent a heavy signal. In a form, وَقَاسَمَهُمَا إِنِّي لَكُمَا مِنَ النَّاسِحِينَ And through that signal, uh, Shaitan made Prophet Adam and Hawa understand the Shaitan is crying, he, he uh, is having a lot of concern, and he's worried, and he's in panic, and he's in the pain. Just in regards to Prophet Adam and Hawa, that uh, if they don't eat from that tree, there's a chance they may lose all the beauty and quality. وَقَاسَمَهُمَا and then Hawa, they asked Shaitan, what happened? Why are you concerned? Why are you worried? Why are you crying? Then Shaitan says, you know that I'm outside. You guys are enjoying from the beauty, the quality, the fruits and the flowers of the paradise. I just don't want you guys to lose uh, this beautiful environment of a paradise. Otherwise, if you don't eat from this tree, there's a chance you may lose whatever the good you have been blessed with. Being a human being, he was successful. He was successful to complete his plan and Hawa alayhi salam convinced Prophet Adam alayhi salatu wasalam to eat from the tree. Uh, and then finally when they ate, فَدَلَّاهُمَا بِغُرُورِ They fall in the track while they was made to be careful. Otherwise they may lose all the beauty and equality. As soon they ate from the tree, from the tree which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked them not to even go nearby, what happened? The dress code of the paradise came out and they became naked and they started regretting, feeling ashamed for the act they have done that they forgotten for a moment and they fall and, and they listen to the message of shaitan and then finally they were made to sin in this dunya. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, here is the beautiful lesson in Surah Araf, Ayat number 23. We are insan, so we come from uh, Prophet Adam alayhi salatu wa salam, he is our fourth father. So make sure being an insan, whenever we fall in a wrong path, and a wrong track, just remember we need to follow our fourth father, Prophet Adam alayhi salatu wa salam, not a shaitan. When Prophet Adam alayhi salam and Hawa was placed in the dunya, they realized it. They made the mistake and they went against of Allah's commands, Allah's order. Allah told them not to go nearby that tree, but finally they ate from the tree. As a result, they had been sent to this dunya and then immediately they turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with repentance, with submission, with a regret by saying رَبَّنَا ظَلَمْنَا أَنفُسَنَا وَإِلَّمْ تَغْفِرْ لَنَا وَتَرْحَمْنَا لَنَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ Ya Allah, with the open heart, we are accepting, we made the mistake, we went against of your command, against of your instructions and order, and we fall in the track of shaitan. Ya Allah, forgive us. Ya Allah, forgive us. No doubt we have done a dhulm. Because of our own mistake, we lose the, all the beauty, the quality, the joy, the happiness, the pleasure of a paradise. And we have been made to sin in this dunya, whereas uh, we are struggling from all corners. But we are seeing, Ya Allah, forgive us. Ya Allah, forgive us. Rabbana zalamna. We have done a dhulm upon ourselves. We are regretting. We are asking, begging, Ya Allah, forgive us. If you don't forgive us, where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? وَإِن لَمْ تَغْفِرْ لَنَا وَتَرْحَمْنَا لَنَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ Ya Allah, if you don't forgive us and don't shower your mercy upon ourselves, لَنَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ There will be a destruction for us forever. Beautifully, when they made this dua, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted their uh, repentance, their tawbah, their apology and shower his blessing and honor them, Prophet Adam and Hawa, with uh, his pleasure. But other hand, 
Shaitan, when Shaitan made the mistake and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked him, what to stop you not to follow my command and order? What the Shaitan said, he started purifying his mistake, his error and ego, saying that, Ya Allah, I'm the best. I'm superior and Adam is inferior. This paragraph of the conclusion of this Prophet Adam and uh, Shaitan, Insan and Shaitan story give us a lesson. Being an Insan, whenever we make a mistake, we need to turn immediately to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and don't start beautifying our error and mistake. And don't follow the path of Shaitan because Shaitanic mentality is whenever the person makes a mistake, try to beautify, try to uh, debate. But the Prophet Adam والسلام, when he made the mistake, he made this dua. So being a human being definitely will be following some time uh, in, the, in the path and the track which is not according to Allah's command and according to the sunnah of Nabi Allah. Then at that moment we need to turn immediately to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, seek his forgiveness, seek his mercy. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala definitely through his blessing he will forgive us. But if we act like a shaitan, then we delay to turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then just remember there will be humiliation, destruction uh, for us forever, and there will be a new solution, destruction in this dunya and humiliation hereafter. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, make us follow the teaching of Prophet Adam alayhi salatu wa salam as we are insan, so make sure we follow the insan, not a shaitan. Wa akhru da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.